everyone welcome back to this channel my name is benjamin and in this video what we are simply going to do is to design a youtube channel banner you can use to upgrade the look of your youtube channel and everything is going to be explained in this video so let's jump straight into it and also just do me a favor if you enjoy this video at any point kindly do well to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't because this channel is all about canva let's jump straight into canva Okay, so you can see this is what I have at the moment, but I'll just show you how you can get this dimension. The first thing you need to do is to, you know, you see this home, but come to create and this pop-up should come up. And all you need to do is to search for YouTube banner. Okay, once you search for YouTube banner, you see we have all these options. What I need you to do is to select this very one, YouTube banner. So once you select it, it should bring you here okay so once you have this on your canva i believe we can get to the next step so the first thing i'd want you to do is to come to file come to settings and make sure your show rulers and guides it's turned on okay so if it's turned off make sure to turn it on and what we'll just do is to come here just over your keza just here like this okay and we'll just click and drag and make sure you're dragging it up to somewhere around 40 499 okay so i'm on 461 at the moment i can keep going to okay to 496 and you can see from the right where we have the uploads that's where we have that so make sure you're looking there as you drag your ruler okay now let's drag the second one and we would want to place it somewhere around 951 okay so I don't know if I'm doing it correctly, but 951 should work. Okay, so I am currently, <clears throat> okay, so we are just trying to find 950. Okay, so 55 should work for us since that's what we have at the moment. For you, just make sure you are getting something close to the numbers I've mentioned. If you're not getting the exact ones I got, okay, so just take note of that. Now that we have this, the next thing I would want you to do is to take a photo of yourself. I took a photo of myself two days ago for this particular tutorial, and I will just show it to you just so you can have an idea of, you know, the type of photo you can take. So it's just a simple photo, okay? Okay, so there's the photo, something simple you can actually use. And by the way, the Google Gemini is actually crazy. With the same photo I showed you, I was just playing around Google Gemini yesterday, and you know, with the looks, with what it was able to create for me was actually very beautiful. The same image, I just gave it a prompt and you can see it's actually crazy. And by far, I think Google Gemini is far better than Siri. Oh my God! <laughs> just saying. Okay, so after you do that, just come into your uploads, okay? And just upload your photo. So this is what I have at the moment and you can see i don't need a background so i would simply come to bg remover so make sure you're removing the background of your image and just in case you are on the free version of canva this is what i have for you there's a special link in the description box below that can help you upgrade to canva pro for free for 30 days so make sure you're checking it out okay so just check it out and you should be able if you are you know, you don't have the time to do that right now. You can just go on remove.bg to remove the background of your image, okay? So we'll just place this image here. You can see how it's looking. I will just crop it up a little bit and just place it on my ruler and increase the size. So this is what I have at the moment. Now, the next thing to do is to press T on your keyboard, okay, to add the text. Just in case your T is on vacation or it's still celebrating some festivals. <laughs> All you can just do is to come here to text okay click on text and you can add any font so that's what you can also do so for the first now just say is hello oh what is that okay so let me just double click and just say hello okay with a full stop and i would increase the size then i will just duplicate it okay by clicking on the duplicate icon this one we'll just click on it to duplicate and i'll just say i'm benjamin okay so that's what we have to the moment so we'll just Click on this and select the two text over here and we'll just also bring it down. So now that we have this, we'll just also increase 
your size and select them all come to bold just to make it you know a bit bolder so this what we have at the moment we'll just make sure we are arranging it properly so just you know just like what i'm doing and i'll just place it next to the image we have over here now the next thing we just have to do is to add some shapes so press r on the keyboard for a square and we'll just reduce the sizes okay so just reduce the size to something like this move it here come to color and change the color to white at the moment we can't see anything so we just keep it black for now and then afterwards we just change the color back to white so then come to corner rounding and increase the corner rounding so this is what you have at the moment and you can just adjust you can just adjust the size of the shape to make it look you know to make it look nice okay so then afterwards what you need to do is to come to element just search for shadow so shadow and in shadow we come to graphics and just scroll down this is the type of graphic or shadow i'm looking for okay and it's actually free as well so make sure you are finding it so we'll reduce the size move it here okay and make sure it's centered you would see the grid lines just notifying you that it's in the center okay then right click come to layer send it backwards so that it's behind the shape okay then we'll also reduce the transparency of it because we don't want it to be too transparent okay but now that we've done this we can set the color of the shape back to white and you should have something like this very interesting so we'll just also go ahead and group them and make several duplicates so but i think i think the shadow is still visible it's too much so i'll reduce it more yeah i think something like this is fine for me okay you can also adjust yours if you know you want to so let's duplicate and i'm just going to create six duplicates so we have four five six in fact let's do eight okay this is what we have at the moment and we'll just place all of them here for now okay now what we want to do next is to select icons that reflect our channel you know so what you do on your channel you just have to go into elements and just find relevant icons so for an example this channel is about canva we do design i do a lot of brainstorming i do a lot of like talking about how to make money online sometimes you know i'm currently married so i'll just pick things that reflect me and you know those icons are what i'm going to look for in element so you can also do same if your channel is about beauty or lifestyle you can put you know an airplane a car you can put you know food you know things that reflect what you are about so that's what you're going to be looking for okay so i will just come into element and you should also go into element and search for the relevant icons but when you are choosing the icons make sure that the icons have similar design styles so that it's consistent across board okay so i'll just search for idea and we have you know some interesting things over here so once i select this i should come to recommended icons you know that are similar to what i've chosen and i'll just find any one that matches the vibe okay so you can see what we have over here the icon shouldn't be too big but it should be centered within the shape okay so we'll just go in and i'll just pick more of that so i'll just skip the whole process until i'm done all right so you can see what we have at the moment i've been able to fix all the icons so the next thing we we'll just want to do is to make sure that the icons it's you know is grouped together with the elements behind it so just select and group select or group you know so that's what i'll just do to make sure that when i'm moving things around i do not have to struggle okay so i will just bring them here just spread them around i'll just put this here i'll put this here i'll bring this here and i'll make this one smaller okay and it can be somewhere here and i can also make this here and you know just decrease the size so we are just spreading them around and they should all be in front okay so this one can be here we we'll also reduce the size okay so something like this bring this one also here put this here something like this so you can see what we are up to okay so this can be here and i'll bring this in and maybe this one also in here something like this then this can also be here so you can see what we have been able to create i think it's actually nice we are getting somewhere i really think we are getting you know somewhere so now that we've done that the next thing we want to do is to add an element called squiggle okay just in case you don't know what the squiggle is it's just like 
some lines that look some fancy lines actually okay so come into element and just search for squiggle okay so s q u i g g l e squiggle and we'll come to graphics the one i like to use a lot is this okay because i'm able to change the color so i can come here and change colors okay so i'll put this one here and increase the size based on what i am looking for and we'll just right click come to layer come to show layers and we'll send it all the way to the back okay so that's why we have it then we can just duplicate it okay so right click on it and come to duplicate then we'll move this one also somewhere here all right and we'll also send it all the way behind but for this one i will change the color to yellow okay so i want it to be something like this yeah i think this looks beautiful this looks beautiful what do you think yeah i know i can't hear you but anyway so once we've done this the next thing we'll just have to do is to add some blur lights okay so we'll come back into elements and search for blur light once we have that just click or choose any one of your choice but what i've chosen is fine and we'll just place this one here and i'll send it behind the text so that is blurring out the edge of the element with the scribble okay i also send this all the way behind okay then we'll duplicate and make them smaller and put this here just spread them across now just to make them look interesting Okay, so we also just place this one here. And I think it's looking very good. It's looking very good. What do you think? And I also place one over here to make it look interesting. Okay, so now that we've done this, the next thing we want to do is just to also add more emphasis on blurring out, you know, this side of me. Okay, so press R on the keyboard for the shape, a square shape or a rectangle shape. Then come to color, make it all white okay then come into gradient the second color should also be white but the next thing you just have to do is the transparency i'm just going to slide it all the way to zero okay now after you do that make sure you're clicking on linear gradient so select linear gradient and you know this is what we have so the top is white the bottom is transparent so we are just going to rotate it all the way you know just 180 something like this okay then we just place it here we choose the size and just increase increase it something like this okay but we realize that it's on top of all the icons so we'll just right click come to layer come to show layers and move all the icons to the top okay we'll just move all the icons to the top and we'll bring the line you know the transparency thing all the way down it should just be on top of my image okay so this is what we have at the moment i would want us to add another text okay i would want us to add another text so just duplicate any of these texts and just see anything you want i'll just see your favorite canva guy okay so your favorite canva guy okay and i'll reduce it and reduce the size at least the first letter should start with a capital so this is what i have at the moment i'll increase the size and here we are Alrighty. then maybe i can just bring this here this light here instead you can see we have one of the elements that has gone all the way back so i'll just bring this in on top of everything and yeah this is what we currently have at the moment and let me just drop these words and just bring them down a little bit okay so we select this and select this and bring them down a little bit bring this one also down a little bit okay just to make everything look good that's nice i like it i like it so now that we've done this i want to show you how you can also apply to your youtube channel okay so looking at the type of design we've done i want to show you how you can apply it so all you need to do is to first of all come to share to you know download and make sure you're downloading it so we download everything and it should load quickly for us you can see how it's really downloading okay it's done then i will just replace it because i already did download it so i'll just replace this and i have it downloaded so at the moment this is how it looks let me open it okay so this is how it looks and while i show you let me also just open the account i want to apply to I already switched, you know, did the accounting already, but I just want to show you just in case. So that just in case, like you want to know how to do it. So there's the second account I want to work with, you know. So I'll just come to customization. Okay, I applied it already, but I'll just change and I'll just come to my downloads and select it. Okay. 
So you can see this how it's looking. Everything is fitting within just that this side is cut out. Don't worry at all. Don't worry at all. All these areas, just don't worry. The main thing is that all the important things should fit within what we've done. Okay, it should fit within this area. And we'll come to done. Then we'll come to publish. Okay. Once you do the publish, we can now view the page by clicking here. I should open and here we go. This is what we currently have at the moment. And I think it's very, very beautiful. Actually, this is my second channel and I'm looking at posting some vlogs and things like that. Okay, so you can subscribe because more videos, I'm actually working on some extra videos. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Look, if you did, please like this video for me just so that the next person can also find this video okay and if you haven't subscribed i'd also appreciate if you do subscribe i have a lot of links and resources free resources for you in the description box below the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in the next video peace